Hey everyone, today we are looking at the Holocom Collection Han Solo. I was really on the fence about picking up any of the figures from this wave. I actually had the Mandalorian on pre-order and then I decided that the Han Solo would be a lot cooler and also I had just so many Mandalorian figures and I just like the idea of Han Solo being a bounty puck. So these are kind of like being sold as a hologram collection, even though they're much more accurately like a bounty puck collection. But Hasbro already has a bounty collection, and those are those really like kid-focused statues of Grogu and like BB-8 and BD-1 and all that, so I guess they had already used the term bounty collection. This is of course just a straight up uh, repaint, if you will, I guess a recast of the Bespin Han Solo. I do think that the clear blue plastic actually looks pretty cool in person. This overall isn't something that gets me too excited. I don't think I would have purchased this figure if I didn't have a YouTube channel to review it on. There's nothing really about this that really excites me. I don't really have a place for it in my collection. I am actually a little bit more impressed than I thought I would be with how the translucent effect is reading in real life. I also have a bright light kind of coming from overhead here, and so that's gonna definitely like light him up a little bit more than he might just look on your shelf with standard lighting. But we'll take a look at how he looks in different situations a little bit later in the video. If you're interested, he does come with instructions that just kind of tell you that you need three AAA batteries and just shows you that if you push the button once you get a little short display and if you press and hold it it lights up for 30 minutes I don't know how fast that would drain the battery though and of course he does come with this little like bounty hologram here showing that he is worth 20,000 credits or is that 30,000 credits it has this little peg at the bottom that goes into this little hole here and it sits in there okay but it's quite loose and so I found myself kind of knocking it out as I would pose the figure. It'd be nice if that was a little bit more of a snug fit. And I guess we're still doing the thing where we pretend that the peg holes in the bottom of the figure's feet are a good way of securing a figure to a surface. This unfortunately doesn't work great. Maybe a little bit of black tack under the heel would get this to sit a little more snugly. Of course you do see the joints through the translucent plastic which for a customizer like me this is pretty cool to see to get an idea of how the figure moves and if you've never ripped one of your figures apart to customize or anything this might be kind of interesting to you but you know ideally this wouldn't show any joints but that's just not really possible so let's get the lights off here and see what the light up effect looks like you can see how the light kind of just reaches halfway up the body his head is pretty much in darkness here and the legs are super bright it's just kind of the nature of light and if we adjust the exposure here you can see that there's actually like a flickering effect happening it kind of circles around here and the little blue light in the middle flickers it doesn't make that big of a difference honestly in real life and actually displaying him in front of the light actually distributes the light a little bit more consistently but for the most part like we're not going to be displaying him in a dark room all the time like these are going to live on our shelves with the rest of our figures so i just want to show you kind of what this looks like with normal lighting conditions here like i have some lights above on my shelf here that i'll actually have linked below on amazon these led lights that are motion sensors so when i open my little collection closet here the lights come on i really like them and they're daylight balance so i think if you were to display this on your shelf you can see here how he just kind of like he's still definitely translucent but if we get a light kind of like up above him and behind him and having him on the highest shelf here it actually really stands out and looks kind of holographic it just really catches that a lot more so if you're gonna get the whole set of these and get them on display on like the top of your risers here like as close to the light as possible that would be pretty cool also if you have any sort of like hidden lights like people do with their hot toys and you kind of stick him near that you can see how much he catches that light and it's really effective when you can't actually see the light in question here if we turn our exposure down you can see how he's really like kind of looks like he's glowing compared to the other figures so that's just another like idea of how to, you might want to display these. Let me know in the comments below uh, if you're going to be picking these up, if you're just getting one, if you're getting all of them, and how you plan to display them. Here are some other videos from my channel that you might enjoy. Thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you next time.